three, two, one. Hi, I'm George, and I'd like to show you the Halloween plaque I've been working on. Excuse my hands while I turn the camera. Now, as you can see, these are photos I took early on. And on the beginning phase, um, the cat is going to be wearing a collar that makes him look like a flower. And the dog is going to be wearing like dad's hat and dad's um, necktie. You know, kind of reminds me of when kids go into the closet and try to find dress up things, um, and make their own costumes. So you can see this photo below it. Now I'm a little bit further along. And you notice the hats are different. Well, at the beginning, he started to remind me of McGruff the crime dog. Remember that character? So I wanted to change it. So I put a stovepipe hat on him, and so that he doesn't look like Abe Lincoln, there's going to be stars and moon on the hat. So I've got the composition where I want it, so now I can start adding the detail and really have fun with it. So here we go. This is the finished clay piece. As you can see, the cat is not very happy about being dressed up, and I don't know many cats that would be. You can see a little bat flying along, see the stars and moon on the dog's hat. Now, if you notice the dog's glasses, they're almost like clown glasses. They're really large and magnify his eyes. He's got a little bow tie on. And the cat's sitting on a pumpkin. The dog has on slippers. Again, that homemade costume aspect. And if you look closely, um, I left this piece a lot rougher. I want you to be able to see all the tool marks. It, it adds interest, I think. It makes it look more like a sketch. And it'll help pick up the patina a little bit better as well. So this is one of my Halloween memories, dressing up the reluctant pets and how patient they were. So if you have any memories or any photographs you want to send us, I would love to see them. I'd like to see how people dress up pets and hopefully the pets are smiling a little bit more than that cat is. So I'm George and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.